misogyny is fake hashtag misandry is real so here's the thing right so misandry is basically misogyny when it's done against a man now some people say that misandry is not a real thing which is a lie and there's far more misandry in America than than there is so-called misogyny which is pretty much a made-up thing and the fact that women aren't calling out what I saw on episode 10 of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season 5 I think it was called Mind the Gap Mind the Gap season 5 episode 10 right Pyrrhus Phillips went to London where the British people are where they drink from their teacups with their pinkies up and Pyrrhus Phillips the alleged $50 bandit <laughs> shout out to K. Michelle uh, Pyrrhus Phillips was running around asking random men are you circumcised are you circumcised are you circumcised over and over again now when a man says something like this to a woman it's considered to be misogyny a part of rape culture it's harassment it's sexual harassment it's everything everything wrong Something's wrong with this man. He needs to be fixed. No, men in general. There's something wrong with men in general. Men are disgusting pigs. How dare they say these things to women? They're so disrespectful, so disgusting. You know, you're, you're, you're a pig. You're a creep. You're a pervert. You're weird. You're, oh God, what are, what are the other uh, man shaming words that I've heard women and just people in general use against men? as weapons as things to try to ruin their reputation as things to try to you know uh, basically program the public to believe that the man is a very bad person obviously because you know no normal civilized person aka a woman would ever act this way it's just the way that you disgusting piggish men act you male chauvinist pigs now when a woman does it it's funny it's cute it's attractive now i know what a lot of you are thinking right now me i wasn't offended by it because the men weren't offended here's the thing in the society that we live in men are programmed to not be offended by pretty much anything that a woman says even to the point where when women say things about mutilating a man's genitals like i'll cut his d off or i hope his d gets cut off Men don't even get offended by that. Women even say things like, oh, he's going to jail or, oh, he's going to prison. I hope he gets raped there. But I thought that you guys were against rape culture. Even a feminist would say something like that and get away with it. Even Amber Rose, her fake ass could say it. And she does have a fake ass. But her fake bald headed behind could say something like that and get away with it. Now, I'm not saying that Paris Phillips you know is a bad person or I'm not saying that she would take fifty dollars out of your hand and run uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say all of that you know I think that she's funny and I like her character on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season five I think that she's fun to watch I'm not trying to say anything bad about her. I'm not bad mouthing her I'm just talking about the way that society views things like this the fact that if I went around asking heifers in Africa is your click clipped are you Clit Huxtable? Are you Clitford, the big red dog? You know what I mean? Like if I went around, you know, <laughs> if I was in Africa on a TV show and I went around asking heifers, you know, whether or not they had the snip snip, whether that whether or not they haven't cut down low, uh, you know, uh, whether or not they were, you know, juggling knives and lost a little something down there, people would be mad as hell at me. Like, how dare you say that to these women? You don't speak to these ladies that way. Not even know whether or not they're ladies. It could be whores. I could be at a brothel. I could literally be at a brothel with a bunch of porn star strippers and hookers and whatever else and ask a question like that. And women would still be offended. Like, look at the way this man is speaking to these women. He's disgusting. He's such a freaking pig. You dig? People would be upset about it. Yet peers can go around asking coffee shop baristas or butchers or just any random person. Any, excuse me. Any random male. Hey, bruh. Did you get your pork rind cut off? And as a man, you're just supposed to accept that. You know, men have been programmed 
to not be offended by things like that while women have been programmed through all of this repetition on TV books everywhere just random conversations women have been told over and over again to be offended while men have been told over and over again to not be offended and that's the society that we live in you know that's how the public has been programmed and then what happens is we end up with women having a victim consciousness while men have a predatory consciousness that's why things are said to men all the time like a man is creepy or a man is weird just for doing something as simple as expressing himself sexually while women are basically masturbating on stage have you ever seen Nicki Minaj perform a song or Iggy Azalea or one of these other females like they're literally playing with that like I, I could show you a video of Iggy Azalea bending over and patting herself on her vagina and it's just considered to be a normal thing no one says that it's creepy no one says stop doing that no one says what is this it's like we all know what it is and people will defend her and say well she's just a woman who's expressing herself she's not afraid to express her sexuality so get over it you know what do you want us to live in a stone age yes women express themselves that way nowadays if you have a problem with it guess what damn it something must be wrong with you you know women are defended but if a man just says man that chick over there is hot you're thirsty thirsty means desperate by the way you're thirsty just because you said that a woman is attractive man that chick over there has a nice rack oh you're disgusting the only thing you see is her breast you don't even see a human being She's not even human to you. You just see a breast. She's not a piece of meat. It's like men are shunned and shamed just for having thoughts of a sexual nature or looking at women as being these attractive beings that they're. <laughs> Look, man, it's really crazy, man. The society we live in is freaking hilarious. Y'all so full of it. All this fake feminism, fake outrage. Just all types of fake stuff, man. The only thing that I like that's fake is, when, is fake butts and GMO food. Give me a genetically modified ass and some genetic, genetically modified food, and I'm good. Everything else is just phony. But shout out to Pyrrhus. She's hilarious. But going around asking random men whether or not they're circumcised is disgusting. And for the record, Pyrrhus, I'm uncircumcised. And if you want to clean this smegma, now nah, I'll just mess with y'all. If you want to clean this man mayonnaise that's underneath this skin. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll about to say something nasty as hell, man. But anyways, guys, look, okay? It's none of y'all's business that when I pull the skin back on the mean three and a half inches, it smells like a garbage can full of baby diapers left in the sun. You know, it's none of y'all's business. All right, y'all. Were you guys offended by what she said on the show? Or do you think that was okay? It was on the season 5, episode 10, titled Mind the Gap. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, season 5, episode 10, Mind the Gap, okay? For those that didn't see it. But anyways, guys, were you offended by her asking random men in London? London, 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 London bridges falling down. London, London, London. Were you guys offended? by this chick running around just asking randoms whether or not they're circumcised or you think it's cool either way man let me know what you think about it all below and, and, and some and some of y'all gonna probably be like you know what me you're just offended because you got that lde that little dick energy you know what you're right you know you know good and damn well i am the founder the creator the spokesman of ldm little dicks matter where our motto is if you care about your bladder, just remember that little dicks matter. You know, like that that's our motto. So you guys know what I'm about. I ain't about shit, but why have more when we will never leave you sore? Shout out to all my brothers out here, you know, that may be black in the face, but Asian in the pants. And uh let me in <laughs> Oh, I'm just offending everybody. I'm just joking, guys. It's just a joke, everybody, okay? Back away from the safe. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts. You'll be notified when new videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. 
Let me know what you think about this foolishness below. Share this video on social media where the hosts congregate, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody and their mama too knows that your girl Pierce is out here asking men whether or not they had... She's asking men... How do I even word this? Asking men whether or not they had their hot dog hemmed. And share this video. And listen, y'all. One more thing before I go. If you can listen to me ramble for over 10 damn minutes, my Jesus, you can leave a comment. Now, if you don't leave a comment and you listen this long, shame on you. We were all rooting for you. Tyra Banks' voice without the forehead.